What's up everybody, I'm Luke with Big Kids Toys and today we're gonna give you a little bit of information about the AudioQuest cable SKUs. Sometimes I think that cables can be a little bit confusing. Most companies have quite a few SKUs and you're not really sure like where is your entry point for your system and your budget. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over their SKUs for interconnects, power cables, and speaker cables. Kind of give you a rundown of some of their technologies so you have a better idea of, of which SKU is best for you and your system. So we're gonna start with speaker cables because I think that's where most people's mind goes when they go to cables is speaker. One thing we like about AudioQuest is that they start at, I mean, really, really good value products. Our favorite line kind of in that value level is the Rocket series. So you go Rocket 11, 22, 33, and 44. And right here I have a pair of Rocket 88 speaker cables. This series of cables is perfect for anybody building an entry level or kind of middle system. So once you get up to Rocket 44, we see the introduction of Perfect Surface Copper Plus. And then Rocket 88, which is what I have here, you see the introduction of the AudioQuest DBS pack, which is their dielectric bias system. This system um, significantly lowers the noise floor of the cable, meaning there's less interference in the signal path. And the reason that I'm mentioning these two specific technologies is they follow the AudioQuest line from the bottom to the top. After you get past Rocket, you're in some serious cables. This is your Folk Heroes cable, so William Tell, and Robinhood. These cables show the trickle down technology from the top of the line mythical creatures. Um, and that's pretty cool because you're getting, you know, that similar technology at a much cheaper price point. So it's, it's amazing value. The Robinhood and William Tell both have the perfect surface copper all the way through the cable. The biggest difference is that Robinhood has a 15 gauge cable throughout. The William Tell is 13 gauge. So you get a little bit thicker cable by going with the William Tell. The other cool thing about these cables is you get the zero tech geometry, which lowers the impedance of the cable. So it's it's delivering that signal easier. So now on to the mythical creatures line, which is I think a really fun line. I know it's kind of weird saying cables are fun, but hey, we're audiophiles, right? So the mythical creatures line is AudioQuest's reference series. Uh, these are for people who, you know, they have an incredible pair of speakers they have incredible amps and preamps and data they need to make sure that the clarity and bass throughout their system is absolutely on point there is no muddiness they want to make sure basically that what is coming from their DAC preamp and amplifier makes it to the speaker with zero interference and audio quest's slogan is do no harm and that's exactly what the mythical creatures series is meant for so mythical creatures is composed of thunderbird firebird and dragon dragon being probably the best cable out there once you get up to firebird they have the introduction of silver into their cables and i think there's a common misconception about silver that it's bright um, when really what it's actually doing is silver is a much better conductor so you're able to hear things with silver in your cables that you simply cannot if you just have copper now on to their analog interconnects i've done a brief explanation of a lot of their technologies and again AudioQuest uses the same technologies in all of their analog products so just like in the speaker line you have the rocket series folk heroes mythical creatures in the analog interconnect side you have the river series the folk horses series and then you have the mythical creatures so right here i have the thunderbird xlr and as you can see it's a very nicely Rated, very flexible and has the double DBS pack. So power cables are a little bit different and honestly, I would look for some of these SKUs to change uh, moving forward. But what we have, you start with the NRG series, then you move on to the wind series followed by the storm series. So right here we have a blizzard cable, which is one of my favorite power cables from AudioQuest. I think the price point is really good along with, it's the first power cable that you get the DBS pack included. So like we said before, it lowers the noise floor of the cable, making it a lot quieter. So in the Storm series, you have 
um, quite a few different products, Tornado, Thunder, um, and then at the end of the at the end of that SKU, you get up to the Firebird and Dragon, which are their top of the line cables, of course. You have technologies like the DBS, but you also have perfect surface copper, perfect surface silver, and you know when you whenever you get to something like a Dragon, you have an all silver cable. That's what drives up the price, but that's also what makes it sound pretty incredible in your system. I know there are a lot of people that don't believe cables make a difference, but what I believe and what I tell you know friends of mine that are asking me about cables or clients that are asking me about is you know if you have a nice car you put nice tires on it right you you put the right type of gas in it whether it's you know 87 or 93 or whatever it's the same thing with a stereo system yes of course you can get by with you know your standard lamp cord cable and your magicos are still gonna sound pretty good you want to make sure that your investment in your speakers is worth it and you are hearing every little detail that you possibly can. And that's why we recommend AudioQuest cables. We think they sound incredible. We think there's a lot of value for the money. Thank you guys for joining us for another uh, Big Kids Toys YouTube video. We got some cool stuff coming up this month. We got Axpona. We have Munich coming up in May. It's a fun time here at Big Kids Toys. Please stay tuned. Check out our newsletter. Check out our website. We'll catch you guys next time.